Hi everyone, my name's Adrian and I'm the European Citizen Science Ambassador for the United Kingdom and I'm also a team member of the Felixstowe Citizen Science Group. And I'd like to use this video blog to tell you about one of the main projects which the Felixstowe Citizen Scientists have been developing over the last year and which we've been sharing across the UK and across Europe. And that's the idea of remapping. So remapping is when we encourage people to create completely new maps, which include the data and information about an environment which is of interest to those map makers. So that's incredibly interesting because remapping can introduce completely new types of data and information which might not appear in any other map that's ever been really used. And if a diverse group of people each make their own maps of an area, then the result is a collection of many different ways of thinking about an environment. But so that I can explain this idea of remapping in a little more detail, I'm going to talk about some work which the Felixstowe Citizen Science Group has been doing on an area of woodland in our town called Abbey Grove. And I can summarise Abbey Grove as being an area of mixed broadleaf woodland with an area of almost four hectares. And the main tree species are common ash, oak, sweet chestnut and field maple. So they're the main tree species. But what I find so incredibly interesting is that when the Felixstowe citizen scientists finally agreed on a map which summarised their collective interests, there were all sorts of surprises in the data. So although the final map included location information about exactly where Abbey Grove is to be found, there was also visual data, such as memories of seeing children climbing trees and families walking with their dogs in the Abbey Grove woodland. And that visual data alone is so interesting because it begins to show the tremendous affection which Felixstowe citizen scientists have discovered about local perceptions of Abbey Grove. But there's more. Because their remapping of Abbey Grove also includes sound data, such as the songs of various bird species which are found in the woodland at various times of the year. But also the remapping of Abbey Grove includes fragrance information, such as the smell of wood immediately after a rain shower or the smell of the grass in the woodland at different times of the year. And in addition to that inclusion of sight, sound and fragrance information, the Felixstowe Citizen Science remapping of Abbey Grove also includes touch data, which is particularly important for children and their love of running their hands through tall grass or smoothing their fingertips across the bark of different trees. And there's taste information in the remapping of Abbey Grove from memories of bringing picnics into the woodland and recalling the taste of the different foods which families and friends have enjoyed together. But the story of remapping Abbey Grove gets even more interesting when I tell you that beyond the information from the five physical senses, the Felixstowe citizen scientists also included information about the therapeutic benefits of spending time in the Abbey Grove woodland. And that experience of Abbey Grove as being therapeutic includes the fact that it's very good for reducing anxieties and frustrations and depression and loneliness. So the remapping of Abbey Grove shows that it's a place of clear health benefits. And all that is incredibly interesting in itself. But when I tell you that the remapping work of Abbey Grove has also been sent to an urban planning consultant, 
which has been hired by the local government in our area to try and understand local perceptions of a new 140 hectare house building development immediately adjacent to Abbey Grove, then we find that uh, remapping by Felix Doe citizen scientists enters into the realms of public policy. And what I find so encouraging is that that urban planning consultant has actually asked the Felix Doe Citizen Science Group to repeat part of their remapping exercise next month. So I find that to be very encouraging because it shows a good level of respect for what the Felix Doe Citizen Science Group has achieved in its understanding of Abbey Grove as an area of local woodland which holds so much value to local people. So is there an area near to where you live which you'd like to remap with the data and information which is of particular interest to you? And if you do create some new maps of that area, perhaps you might like to share them to encourage other groups to also do some remapping. Well, I hope so. Anyway, thank you for listening to me.